Hey everybody, it's Ryan, KC9OZA. And are you looking for a screwdriver antenna that won't break the bank? Stay tuned as I show you a great alternative to those pricey screwdriver antennas. So this is the Harvest HD330. It is a screwdriver antenna for three and a half to 30 megahertz and also we'll do six meters 200 watt power and it is does have a electric motor inside so comes black construction here heavy aluminum mount it does have a cassette screw down here so you can fasten it to your trunk lip mount or whatever type of mount you use. I actually went and took the set screw out, marked it, and I drilled a little divot onto my mount here. So when the set screw goes in, it can't be unscrewed. So I don't have to worry about coming out of the store wherever I go, and my screwdriver antenna being gone. This antenna is around $200. It's both on eBay and Amazon. I purchased this one off of Amazon. So that way if it didn't work, I could return it. But what got me interested in this antenna is the HF radio I am using here in the car is the FT891 great radios and I've been wanting something to be able to do HF mobile again in the car got to looking around I was talking to some guys here on the repeater and they said hey this guy down at Evansville has one he's looking to sell so I can contacted him ended up being a great ham his name's Ray and I met up with him bought this FT891 off of him it was his brothers that passed and he was just looking to get rid of some of his stuff well we got to talking in the parking lot and he had a Ford pickup with a screwdriver antenna and I asked him what kind of antenna it was and he told me it was a harvest antenna and that he had had it on his truck for almost two years zero issues loved it and would highly recommend it and said he had some videos on his YouTube and I will link his YouTube channel down below and asked him a few questions about it and things Got to researching it. Not any other videos online really other than his. So I took the chance. Bought it. Best decision I've done. So the antenna. It is electric. And it comes with. I forget how long of a cord. But I'll leave all the description specs below. But it uses this cigarette lighter plug, and the cable goes back to the back to the antenna. And basically, you just plug it in. And the 891, I basically just get on AM or CW, low power, key up. And then the single mark here raises the antenna up. You hit the double, lowers the antenna. And once you get used to the running it up and down, it does have some sweet spots. So once you get in range, it's fairly easy to fine tune. He had gotten rid of this and put a little momentary switch. I have one. I just haven't got it installed yet. But... That cable is just ran through the car, comes back out to here, it has a plug so you can unplug it, 
undo your set screw, antenna comes off, put it away if you're going somewhere. Now this has been modified. This antenna, and I'm sure this is what draws a lot of people off, but Ray said he had not had any issues with it. He actually had one of them on the antenna whenever I met up with him. But it comes with two sets of telescoping whips and they just screw in here and said he hadn't really had no issues going down the highway anything like that but he had showed me where he had made one of these he has a little machine shop and this is one of the telescoping bases that i have cut and this has just got a hollow inside you just cut it your whip down enough to where this slides down set screw and it's got 3h24 so you can put your whip on that was great but i was kind of worried about this extra weight and then ray goes hey i think because we talked and he said he couldn't wasn't for sure what the thread was i'd went to several places trying to find the thread pitch it's close to 3 8 24 but just a little off he said he got it figured out he sent me one of these so it's short it actually screws directly into the antenna and then you just put your whip i'm using a wilson's 62 and a half inch whip i have seen a little better performance this over the telescoping whips and it's easy to unscrew just unscrew it but overall i am very happy with this antenna i've not had any issues with it whatsoever um like i said i had a few little hiccups but they ended up being operator error uh on my end because i thought the antenna was bad and i contacted ray a few times he was great helping me out he says these antennas have their little sweet spots and once they get there they're easy to dial in and they do have a little uh, measuring system here to show you that your antenna is moving up and down but unfortunately where this is placed on the car i can't see it but again usually it just key up cw five watts the 891 you can set up your am or your cw power separately from your sideband power so i just swap over the cw key down run the antenna up or down whichever band i want to do i usually have it tuned within 15 seconds this will run up and down fully within about 30 40 seconds so doesn't take forever i've been using it for almost two months now i've made contacts in australia italy um, all around the US I'm very very happy with this antenna I'm glad Ray recommended it again I'll leave all his stuff down below so I'll go ahead and leave some audio clips of me making contacts with this and I'll just do a little b-roll of you seeing the antenna how it's mounted my grounding etc etc where i have the radios mounted just as a little b-roll with the audio so this antenna again 200 bucks can't be beat it's a copy of the diamond antenna which is a lot more money i was trying to contemplate between this and the atos antenna the atos i know hit the tune button works its magic don't have to mess with it but it's another 150 180 bucks more so i think i can key up run the toggle switch up and down that toggle switch that comes with it 
you can actually lock it so it'll you don't have to sit there and hold it and then once you get close you tap it it'll quit not had any issues with that so i'll go ahead and give you some audio of my contacts that have made this antennas really really surprised me i love it i'm actually thinking about buying a second one for the truck possibly but we'll see so we'll go ahead and row the audio of the contacts kilo charlie 9 oscar zulu alpha mobile I got you a 5.7 here in Southern Illinois. I got you a 5.5, five, 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 five here into the mobile. Yeah, I'm getting you on the new antenna. I had to tune it a little bit, but once I found the sweet spot, I'm getting you fine. Yeah, very good. You're up to a 5 by 5 now yourself, and uh, it's hard to go for me. I'm 40 here with the inline scope. Uh, I have all the 40s I have one in my hand, and I'm going to be able to check the rest of the system. But it uh, looks like that little coil that I made kind of took care of the issue. So uh, if you have that issue, get down with the coil. Kilo Charlie 9, Oscar Zulu Alpha Mobile. Uh, Kilo Charlie 9, is it Oscar Zulu Alpha, is that correct? Roger, roger. Very good. Uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Oscar Zulu Alpha. Line 5959 into Kilo 4306 and 9807. QSL? I got you a 5757 here in the Southern Illinois. Kilo, Charlie 9, Oscar Zulu, Alpha Mobile. I got the only Kilo, Charlie 9, I am sorry. Kilo, Charlie 9, uh, over, over. Kilo, Charlie 9, Oscar Zulu, Alpha. Oscar Zulu, Alpha Mobile. Oscar Zulu, Alpha. Kilo, Charlie 9, Oscar Zulu, Alpha. Is it correct, over? Roger, roger. So there you have it, a great screwdriver antenna at a great price point. I wouldn't be afraid to buy another one. Like I said, I'm thinking about getting one for the truck because I purchased another 891 for the truck so whenever I drive it. But most of the time I drive the Prius, I do have a little bit more grounding and filtering to do to try to get the noise level down a little bit more with the electric motors and everything, but overall very usable with the FT891 and the digital noise reduction system. Love it. Thanks everybody for watching 73s. We'll see you in the next video.